Hello there. Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial. Today, I'm going to be going over how to create bullets, as well as adding player shooting and muzzle flash. Hope you enjoy. Let's start by creating a new scene. Click on other node and add an area 2D. We'll also need to add a collision shape and a sprite. Now we can add a texture to the sprite. Because I'm using a tile map, we'll need to enable a region. This will allow us to crop out a specific part of our tile map. Click on texture region. For this project, I'm going to be using the bullet at the top left corner. Nice. Now we have our bullet. I'm also going to rotate the sprite and make it a bit bigger. The last thing we'll need to do is re-import the image. This will make the quality much clearer. Now for the collision shape. I'll use a rectangle, remember that this should fit around the entire sprite. I'll rename this player bullet. Great. Now we can create a script and start coding. First I'll create a speed variable. I'll have the bullet move twice as fast as our player. Next I'll create a physics process function. Remember that we want the bullet to move on the x-axis. We'll also want to add the assignment so that the bullets move right. Multiply both the speed and delta. There, now our bullets will move right at a constant speed. Now we can begin coding player shooting. I imagine that our bullets are going to be coming out of both these guns. Because of this, we'll need to add two different position nodes, which I'll rename spawn position. This is where our bullets are going to spawn from. Remember that you'll need to clarify which is which. Now we can move these to the end of the guns. Finally, we can add a timer. What this node will do is control how fast we can shoot. I'll rename this shoot speed timer. Remember to select one shot. I'll also be increasing the wait time to about half a second. This way we can have a faster rate of fire. Let's go into the player script. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a preload variable, which will allow us to spawn a bullet. Add the player bullet file. Now we can create a can shoot boolean variable. This will determine whether the player can shoot or not. I'll set this to be true. Now we can add two onready variables. These will connect both the position nodes to the script. Now let's add our timer to the script. Go into the node tab and connect timeout to the player. All we'll do here is set can shoot to true each time the timer goes off. Before we do anything further, we'll need to add player input. Go into the input map and add an action. I'll use the spacebar for player shooting. Now we can add a process function. Basically, if the player holds the shoot key, and they can shoot, the shoot function will be called. First I'll add a variable that instances the bullet. Now we'll get the bullet to spawn in the position node's location. Then I'll add the bullet to the current scene. Now what we'll need to do is start the timer, and set can shoot to false. The only problem is that the code will only account for one of the spawn positions. Copy and paste what we did above. All you'll need to do is add a 2 at the end of both the bullet, and spawn position. Definitely not the best looking code, but it'll do. Nice. Now the player can shoot. However, it looks a bit plain. We can fix this by adding muzzle flash. To do this, I'll add a sprite and an animation player, which will allow us to animate our muzzle flash. I'll import the sprite and move it to the end of our gun. Now we can add a new animation, which I'll name muzzle flash. In order to change our visibility, we'll need to add a property track. This will need to be connected to our muzzle flash sprite. Now that this is added, I'll change the snap options and add a keyframe. We'll need to add two keys at the beginning and end of our animation. On the final key, we'll need to turn the value off so that the sprite disappears. I also want to add a rotation property, which will rotate the sprite. I'll put these frames in the same position as the visibility frames. I only want it to rotate a little bit, so I'll set the rotation to be 20 degrees. I think this looks pretty good. Remember that we are going to be following the same process again, except for the other gun. I think you know what to do, see you in about 1 second. Welcome back. It's time to begin coding these animations. First we'll need to connect both these animations to our script with an onready variable. Remember to differentiate between muzzle flash 1 and 2. Now we can add the animation when we shoot. 
remember to use the correct onReady variable name. You should have created another animation with a similar name to the one before. Add this to spawn position 2 as well. Nice. The muzzle flash is working. I think this looks a lot less boring. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you later, have a good day.